What is up guys? Tanner back from the GT's Outdoors channel. Today we're bringing you our fourth TSSO. And this one is on the Hornady Heavy Magnum uh, turkey loads. Um, they're nickel plated lead shot. And they're number six. I can see how much I paid for those. Pretty good price on those for 10 shots. Three inch, um, one and a half ounce number six shot. Give you a peek at uh, some of these shells here. Nice looking shell there um something i did notice about these they have the uh the bar pressure on there which is kind of cool um, good looking shell though um, so we're going to try these um i know i mentioned in the last video that we were going to do a new choke we're not because it wouldn't be fair to the other ones we've tested so far um so we're going to get a new choke eventually um, but we're going to retest everything with that new choke we're going to do a choke shootout so i think that'll be fun um we are using the uh ones we have been this hs strut turkey targets um we seem to be working pretty well and they're pretty reasonable so i got one uh hung up here down range at 35 yards so uh go ahead and uh, put my ear muffers on here and we're gonna shoot i've got the charles daily out that we have been using put my ears on here shoot our first one we're gonna shoot two just like last time just in case there's any inconsistencies with me Go ahead and load one up here. 35 yards, guys, just like this. Last time here. So, see what these hornadies can do. I'm beating right on the head, guys, right on that turkey's head. That wasn't too bad at all. Let's uh, run down range and see where we're at. All right, we are back down range. As you guys can tell, that was a pretty bad pattern. A um, couple in the neck, but looks like that shot real low. So we'll hold a little higher on this next one and see, uh, see what the heck's going on. Uh, we got nothing in the head. We just got a couple in the neck here. So that's uh, pretty disappointing. I had high hopes for these. So let's shoot another pattern and see uh, see just what's going on here. All right, back down range after that first shot. Not too impressed. I shot uh, really low. So we're gonna give uh, give these another, uh, another shot here and see what happens. Uh, choke tube's nice and tight. I'm going to aim a little higher on this one, guys. I don't know if it's this bead that's sitting up too high on this gun or what, but, I mean, I shoot this gun quite a bit as my beater shotgun, and I don't have a problem, so not uh, not really too sure what's going on, but let's, uh, let's be a little higher on it. See, uh, see what happens. Here we go. All right. From what I saw, I think that wad flew a little bit better. Uh, a little bit higher, so uh, we'll check it out. Alrighty, you can see uh, that was the trick. Uh, held a little higher. Now we got one, two, three. You can say three or four in the head. Um, still not where I want to be. This is just, I don't know what's going on, guys. Um, I think it's got to be this choke because it doesn't matter what shells I put through it, it's just the right choke. So we're going to go ahead and uh, I think we're gonna stop doing the TSSO uh, series with this choke and we're gonna move on to a different choke. So you guys will see that in the next one because this is just ridiculous. Uh, anywho guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate you checking out the GT's Outdoors channel. Um, we got a lot more good stuff coming. Uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one.